Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. After the great success of the Dwarf 2, I'm happy to present you the successor today, the Dwarf 3. It's a revolutionarily smart telescope designed for both astrophotographers and casual stargazers. It offers powerful imaging capabilities in the ultra portable form factor, combining smart features like auto tracking and image stacking, all managed via an intuitive app. Despite its small size, the Dwarf 3 punched as far above its weight class when it comes to deep sky imaging, planetary capture and wide field night sky photography. It features a telephoto lens with a 33mm aperture, a 150mm focal length and has a full frame equivalent of 733mm. Wide angle lens with a 3.5mm focal length and a 45 degrees field of view, a Sony IMX678 star with two image sensor with 8.3 megapixel. It's excellent in low light, enable clear imaging of faint nebula, galaxies and star clusters. It has a battery of 10,000 mAh and can be charged via USB-C. The energy runs up to 6 hours. It has a 128 GB internal storage, an AI subject tracking and unlike most compact smart scopes, the Dwarf 3 features a motorized EQ mode, allowing accurate tracking of celestial objects. This eliminates field rotation and allows long exposures without star trailing, essential for deep sky imaging. The Dwarf 3 has built-in filters designed specially for night sky use, including a narrowband filtering, hydrogen, alpha and oxygen 3, allowing imaging in light polluting environments. It can record videos in 1080p 60fps on the telelens and 4K 30fps on the wide lens. It also supports video capture and burst mode, enable effective planetary imaging and time-lapse star field sequences. At only 1.3 kilo, it's easy to take to dark sky locations, with no need for external mounts, laptops or cable. Setups takes only a few minutes, making it ideal for field use and astrophotography beginners. And one of the best part of this scope is the price. You can get the Dwarf 3 for around 450 euro. In this video we will take pictures of the sun. Before that I will do a quick unboxing. The second video will appear in a month or two, as I will be flying to La Palma with the Dwarf 3 to do a deep sky astrophotography test with this little telescope. As you probably know, La Palma is one of the darkest places in Europe and the conditions there will be perfect for astrophotography. So have fun with the unboxing and see you for the first test.
Welcome back. Let's start with the first test. Connecting to the Dwarf 3 is easy. First open the app, then tap connect and the app will search for the telescope. Then select the device and the app will connect to the Dwarf 3. Now you are ready to go. Before we begin, please make sure the solar filters are installed, otherwise your telescope could be seriously damaged. Now you can search for the sun in the app. It's really easy. There are many celestial objects in the app. You can simply click on the object you want and the telescope will navigate it to it directly, thanks to its go-to feature. As you can see, the sun was found immediately and focused automatically. Of course, you also have the option to focus manually, but the focus works very reliable. Now you can take a photo of the sun and this is the unedited result. I have to say, I wasn't expect such a good quality and I'm looking forward to testing the Dwarf 3 on La Palma. I hope you enjoyed this video so far and if you are interested in the second part, I would appreciate if you can leave a like and subscribe to my channel. And if you are interested in buying one, you can find the link in the description. And if you have any questions, please write them in the comments down below. I will try to answer them all. See you next time.